everyone, it's time now for Breaking Next, presented by Sprint, a look at how converged technologies are powering our connected future. So guys, we've all seen visions of the future that show every American family with their own personal robot. But what will actually happen when that becomes an actual reality? One company just launched sales of what they're calling the world's first truly intelligent, mobile, and affordable personal robot. So joining us now to discuss this is Danny uh, Israelis. He is the head of Temi USA. Great to have you here. Thanks so much for joining us. So a lot of our viewers are probably asking, who is Temi? Okay, so thanks for having me, first of all. Uh, Temi, as you mentioned, is the world's first personal robotic assistant. First of all, that actually works. We've seen a lot of failures in this field uh, and has actual value to the user, which is, uh, again, something that's been missing in the personal robotics world till now. So to describe it very briefly, it would be, I'd layer it down to, first of all, like a smart display that we're seeing from Facebook, from Amazon, uh, from Google. Uh, on top of that, we've implemented a whole entertainment system, a Harman Kardon uh, designed sound box, and full autonomous mobility, meaning it can either follow you around your home if you, if you choose, not a creepy thing, <laughs> or um, if you're away, you can call into the robot and you can preset locations in your home or office. You can call uh, a room, a living room, a dining room, Bobby's room, whatever. So let's say I'm stuck in the office or I'm in Hong Kong and I want to check on my kid in uh, Manhattan and read him a bedtime story. I just tap Bobby's room, zhit, drive to his room, and enjoy 20 minutes with my wow. kids, which I couldn't enjoy otherwise. Right. And I love what you guys did with, um, I guess it's the marketing, the social media, and the research component for Temi, letting real American families kind of trial Temi and, and see how functional and effective it can be in their day-to-day -day life. Um, how huge do you think Temi is going to be for homes across America? So we are hoping that within four to five years, uh, personal ro robots in general, Temi leading the market, uh, will be as common as smartphones and uh, we believe that there's actual an actual reason for that now when you enter your home the first thing you do is you're still stuck with your phone checking mm -hmm. emails and scrolling and you don't really pay attention to your kids to your dog to your books so we'd rather have people put their phone aside on the robot the robot charges the phone and when you want to consume the internet you'll call the robot over instead of just uh, reflexing over your phone how interesting. Why did you also choose to focus on entertainment and communication as essentially the core functions of this? So first of all, learning the the person, the virtual assistant or the smart speaker market, 80% of the times people use it for listening to music. So right. that's why we implemented the actual sound system and then with the QHD screen, so you get an actual entertainment system. So that's one. But the second thing is, you know, every startup has to have a mission, mm -hmm. which is usually to save the world. Mm -hmm. So our way to save the world is to uh, bring back a bit of human connection. So, you know, we are separate a lot of times. Our grandparents live 6,000 miles from us, and we want people to reconnect because we feel that we are losing it with this and with texting, which is usually info. Buy tomatoes. I got toilet paper. You know, that's what we're... Uh, that's our conversation instead of spending time with each other with each other right so you you mentioned that uh, Timmy knows social cues so he knows when things get a little awkward he knows when to leave the room so tell us a little bit about the technology you put into Timmy uh, obviously when folks hear artificial intelligence they get a little nervous mm -hmm. yep so first of all we are very proud to say that it's not replacing any human it's not expressing any emotions it's a machine it's a very, very smart machine. If you try to compare it to human intelligence, it would come out stupid, that's the truth. But our navigation technology, and that's what we're most proud of, is unparalleled. It's, it fusions 16 different sensors, camera, lasers, uh, uh, depth cameras, and it makes them all uh, speak in one language. So we collect data from 16 different sensors all the time, and that tells the robot where it is, what's surrounding him, what he's seeing around him, what to avoid, and that's uh, that's something that no company has yet Well, let's achieved. talk about that, because this is the, one of the best parts of it. You're right, of the, of the robot, and we're showing our viewers a lot of basically what it does. Why is the movement so important in terms of how developers are changing the way that robotics and communication are basically made now? So, first of all, when you talk about human-robot interaction, you want to feel that the robot is with you, that it right. is reacting to you. Second, we are moving creatures. So, uh, you know, uh, Facebook just announced their uh, uh, portal, some kind of communication box. And that's, again, 
You come and sit in front of a box, but that's not how we are. When I talk to my mom, I'd rather, at the same time, play with my puppy and fold my laundry and make coffee and walk around and right. feel free. Live your life. Th yeah, that way, uh, um, video conversations last much longer. Instead of talking three minutes to my mom, I talk to her for 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. That's why the mobility uh, aspect of it seemed very, very important to us. So obviously, since the Jetsons, everybody's wanted their own home personal assistant in the form of a robot. And we've seen stores and warehouses kind of throw in robots into the mix to help make it just easier for functionality within a store or a warehouse. But why do you think the home is the perfect place for a robot like this? Um, because the uses for this robot, uh, not like a warehouse mm -hmm. robot, a warehouse robot or a cleaning robot, is a fun one function robot. It is all it can do. This is more of bringing uh, our day to day uh, 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 to do list mm -hmm. in a robot. So this is, you know, uh, to set up the meetings and to watch videos and to talk to your family and to light up the lights and to order pizza and Uber and all that. Mm -hmm. So that's the use of the robot. That's why the home or office is the perfect location. All right, here on Breaking Next, we like to kind of ask people their five great predictions about the future of, of technology. We want to get your big five predictions when it comes to the future of personal robotics. What are they? Okay, so first of all, I'd say that uh, we predict that every home will have a personal robot um, within the next four to five years. Um, we, we are comparing personal robotics to, uh, as a new version of smartphone. Today it still seems a bit far away, but in a year or two, it's really going there. Um, we predict that people will spend at least an hour a day interacting with their robots. Again, not with the robot core, not c conversing with the robot, but through the robot to their loved ones, to their employees, etc. cetera. Um, we, we expect that what we see now, the cute robots, the ones with the blinking eyes and the cute faces, will disappear because that's more of a toy feature. It's not really useful. And as we are seeing from, uh, from uh, all sorts of uh, different articles, the big tech companies, Amazon, Google, etc., will uh, very, very soon all uh, offer their clients uh, personal robotics. Really amazing stuff to kind of see where the future of all of this is going, what's going to be in our houses soon. Uh, Danny Esterlis is the head of Tema USA. Great to have you here. Thank you so Thank much you. for Thank joining you for us, Danny. Me. And guys, if you have your predictions of your own about the future of personal robotics, let us know on Twitter, at Cheddar, or if you're watching us on Facebook, just comment in the little comment section right below here. And to learn more about how Sprint is actually preparing for the technological advancements of the future, check out Sprint.com slash Works for Business for a whole lot more.